uh, tuendelee na topic yetu ya status of matter kwenye physical chemistry na kwa sababu tulikuwa tuko kwenye kipindi kilichopita tuko naangalia kuhusu ideal gas equation pamoja na universal molar gas constant kwa hiyo tuende na hii universal gas law au china nyingine huwa inaitwa ideal gas law kwa state universal gas law au ideal gas law ndio hapa law in a state kwamba the volume of a gas varies directly proportional to the number of moles directly proportional to the, to the temperature and inversely proportional to the pressure kwa hiyo tukichukua mathematically uh, the volume of gas varies directly proportional to the number of moles you see then direct proportional to the temperature t and inversely proportional to the pressure p that is to say v is equal to n and the constant here is r universal molar gas constant then t divided by p so we get vp is equal to n r t uh, which is called the ideal ideal gas equation so the ideal gas equation ilipatikana kwa combination ya three gas laws Avogadro's Charles na Boyle's law lakini hii universal universal gas law au ideal gas law ndo tunastative kwamba volume gas varies directly proportional to the number of moles directly proportional to the temperature and inversely proportional to the pressure so tuangalie some of the application application ya hii ideal gas equation uh, from vp is equal to n rt hapo tunaweza kukaukwati vitu mbali mbali kwa mfano kwanza ni molar mass we know number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass so to insert hapo if this is equation 1 this is equation 2 substitute equation 2 into equation 1 we get vp is equal to m divided by mr then rt so vp a uh, molar mass will be equal to mr t then molar mass will be equal to m r t divided by vp if you have all of these parameters you can calculate the molar mass ko hiyo ni kwanza determination of molar mass lakini tuna determination of density of gas uh density of gas ambayo kwenye density of gas tuna density mbili relative density na normal density uh tuanze na normal density normal density Isino sintatuma kwenye Telegram group yangu angalia link kwenye description chini hapo. Normal density tunasema kwamba PV is equal to N R T. But N is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So PV will be is equal to M R T divided by molar mass. And here you can say P V molar mass is equal to M R T. then divided by v divided by v p mm -hmm, molar mass is equal to m divided by v then r t but m divided by v is equal to density rho density so p molar mass divided by r t will be equal to rho So the equation for the equation of normal density will be is equal to p molar mass divided by r t this is normal density but relative density uh relative density in gases we are taking the density of a gas divided by density of hydrogen relative density our vapor density relative density or sometimes it is called as vapor density vapor density a uh, vapor density is equal to density of gas divided by density of hydrogen it is different kutoka kwenye concept za physics ambayo tunafahamu relative density and density of substance ganya kwa density ya water lakini huku ni density ya gas ganya kwa density ya nani ya hydrogen so density is equal to p molar mass R T Kwa hiyo moja kwa moja ni kwamba kwa sababu pressure inayoko ndani ya container 
inakuwa ni moja universal homologous constant ya temperature ni moja so pressure ya gesi fulani i mean density ya gesi itakuwa sana pressure molar mass ya gesi rt na density ya hydrogen itakuwa sana pressure molar mass ya hydrogen then rt so tukichukua density ya gesi kwenye kwa density ya hydrogen density ya hydrogen tapata nini Uh, tapata a uh, final answer itakuwa ni molar mass ya gas kanya kwa molar mass ya hydrogen so simply tunavotaka kupata relative density ya gas flani hii ni sana molar mass ya gas kanya kwa molar mass ya hydrogen ambapo molar mass ya hydrogen is known ambapo ni mbili kwa that is very easy very easy molar mass ya hydrogen inajulikana mbili So relative density kumbe kwa lugha nyingine sana molar mass ya gas divided by 2 That's how we get the relative density of gases au ina nyingine inaitwa vapor density Ah uh, uses ya tatu ni determination of molar concentration molar concentration to determine vip molar concentration Ah uh, tulisema from PV is equal to nr t Sasa divided by v both side tutapata p is equal to n divided by v rt ndio tutakuja kusema but n divided by v is equal to square bracket which is molar molar concentration molar concentration in mole per dm cube so p will be is equal to molar concentration ala t Kimex subject T molar concentration utakuja kupata nini? Molar concentration is equal to P divided by RT. Kwa ukichukua pressure ganya kwa RT utakuja kupata molar concentration. Equation yake inakuwa kama hivyo. Uh, from there let's see about the Dalton slope partial pressure. Tumeshaona kuhusu ideal gas equation pamoja na uses zake. Tuangalie kuhusu Dalton slope partial pressure in row ya saba kati ya zile tunazosoma Dalton's law inasemaje John Dalton visualized that in a mix of gases each component exert a pressure as if we are alone in a container the individual pressure of each gas in the mixture is defined as partial pressure ko gas zimekuwa mixed ndani labda mna hydrogen mna mna SM na hydrogen mna ammonia mna argon zile gas has react Alichokuja kiona John Dalton ni kwamba each gas in exert partial pressure peke yake as if it is alone. So partial pressure by definition partial pressure we define it is the pressure exerted by a, exerted by a gas when it is allowed to occupy a container alone. Pressure exerted by a gas when it is allowed to occupy the container alone. Ko tuna assume kwa sababu tuna assume kwamba gas ime occupy container alone then tunaangalia kama gas ka occupy container alone itakuwa ina uwezo wa, wa kutengeneza pressure kiasi gani sasa gases manake zikiwa mbili au zikiwa tatu each gas inakuwa ina ina partial pressure yake each gas inakuwa ina partial pressure yake sasa kwa definition nyingine tunasema partial pressure is the pressure exerted by a particular gas constituent in a gaseous mixture if the gas would be alone in the container under the same condition so the pressure produced here inakuwa ni kama vile gas ingekuwa peke yake kwenye container based on experimental evidence in 1807 Dalton Dalton announced the what is commonly known as as the Dalton law of partial pressure. Now how does this law state? According to Dalton's law of partial pressure, the total pressure exerted in a container of the mixture of two or more gases is equal to the summation of the partial pressures provided that the gases do not react. Now 
one among the party which confuses most of this of the of the students in this Dutton's law is this party which says provided that the guesses do not react. Because some guesses they react to Apo Manake Haiwitana Dutton's law of partial pressure. Um, in other words, we can see the total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum of the partial pressures of all gases present, provided that gases do not react. Provided that gases do not react. Now, if the container of three gases, let's say A, B, and C, to na guess A, B, na C, na has react. Uh, partial pressure A, you in your A, uh, partial pressure B, you in your B. Na basho pressure C, iwe ni yu C. Atakacho kusema ni kwamba total pressure is equal to basho pressure A plus basho pressure B plus basho pressure C. That is total pressure. Now generally, pressure total, pressure total, itakuwa sana pressure 1 plus pressure 2 plus pressure 3. Mpaka kwenda kwenye pressure N. Kwa N number of gases number of gases kwa sababu watu ji number of gases zitakuwa ngapi kwenye hiyo kwenye hiyo mix yetu so p1 p2 p3 are partial pressures of the gases 1 2 and 3 and so on to pn which is the partial pressure of gas n and under this condition tunako tuna volume na temperature ni constant uh, volume na temperature zinakuwa constant kwa Dutton's law from the Dutton's law now from the Dutton's law, uh, we are saying P total is equal to P1 plus P2 plus P3. And from the ideal gas equation, PV is equal to NRT. Now, if PV is equal to NRT, then we will say, we will make subject P is equal to NRT divided by V. So, Pressure 1 will be equal to number of moles 1, RT divided by V. Because they are in the same container, so temperature R and V, they are the same. Pressure 2 is equal to number of moles 2, RT divided by V. And pressure 3 will be equal to number of moles 3, RT divided by V. So total pressure P total will be equal to N1. RT divided by V N2 RT divided by V N3 RT divided by V So P total itakuwa sana itakuwa sana N1 plus N2 plus N3 then RT divided by V Hii ndo Dutton slow au mwingine anaweza kusema P total itakuwa sana Number of moles total then R T divided by V. Kwa hiyo, cha muhimu wapu kinacho kwa kinavali nini? Ni number of moles total. In other words, the total pressure of a mixture is determined by total number of moles present. Whether of just one gas or a mixture of gas. Kwa total pressure, itategemea na number of moles ambazo zipo. Note, introducing new gas in the container does not change partial pressure of the gases in the container because it do both increase the total pressure of gases in the container and decrease the mole fraction of the gases by the same proportion. Kwa hiyo, unavoeka gas mpia kwenye container, partial pressure gases hizo kwenye container ibadiliki. Kama tu gases is react. Ila kinacho kwa number of moles inaongezeka, so total pressure will, will also increase. So in this video, let's end up here and in the next video, we'll start discussing about the concept of mole fluxion and partial pressures. And then if the time will allow us, we'll start discussing about the, uh, about the solved examples in the status of matter. Thank you everybody. Subscribe the channel and share this video to invite more students to attend these periods. Thank you. Have nice studies.